Hello, welcome back. I'm Jessica. Today I have really just been thinking a lot about the divine and the sun in particular and something that always comes to my mind is my son when he could barely make a sentence like as soon as he could make a sentence he was always saying the sun is my friend and he would also say the sun follows me everywhere which at the time I thought it was really cool and it made me giggle a little bit um, I love that he loved the sun but at the time I didn't really put it all together and so now um, knowing that the sun is consciousness and that it holds divinity it holds light um, a lot of it um, for us to enjoy and um, the where we are connected to the Sun in so many ways and that the light from the Sun can um, activate the light that's dormant in us so or divinity um, we're all we're all an expression of divine light um, just like the Sun is so we're like all little mini suns and to me that's pretty awesome and I feel like my son when he was saying that in the car he could feel that he could feel the love of the Sun he, he could feel it because it is consciousness he could feel the love and the gentleness and the kindness and he knew and in his way of expression at that time was that the Sun is his friend which is really sweet and um, you know the Sun is our friend the Sun is consciousness the Sun holds a lot of divine light for us it's a manifestation of Christ consciousness um, but what's really important here to like recognize and and I know most of us kind of know this but like not maybe to the extent that we should remember every day is that we are a vessel for the divine light and which makes us a sun too so as we interact with people like they can get information or they can take in our light and it can activate things in them their divinity things that they've forgotten and the same is true for us when we're around the other people because everybody has a different expression of divinity that they are here to express and together as a whole it is complete so that was something I wanted to share and then also just in order for us to hold the most light divinity in our bodies um, we have to take really good care of our vessel or our temple so that means watching what we consume so you don't want to you know the more raw fruits and vegetables you can consume the better um, because plants and animals have this same life force energy the same divinity this light God consciousness inside of them as well so when we eat that we're actually like taking in that light and as our own so that's a gift from nature for us um, from the divine and also just what we consume so if you are watching Netflix all day or watching shows that maybe aren't raising your vibration or doing things to help you um, help you help, help you help your soul grow and 
and help you with that like pure authentic expression of yourself um, then that can make your temple your vessel less able to hold a, hold the light so we want to just be conscious of that and just um, with all of the things that we consume we don't just consume food we consume music we consume the TV some people do um, we consume uh, material things like when we go out to shop and things like that you want to be careful about what you're you know be not careful but like conscious of the things that you're bringing into your home that you're putting on your body um, because we just want to be very conscious of um, doing all of the things that will help our temples to hold the most light so that we can be more and more an expression of divinity in the world and have a brighter light to shine to the world. Um, this helps wake other people up and because they can see their divinity in themselves, in you, and it wakes that up and then they can start shining their light brighter too. Um, I know when I'm around um, lots of people that have really bright lights, um, it definitely, I can definitely feel it. And sometimes like after I leave a space like that, I can actually like realize that I got like new divine information from that experience which is really awesome. And the same goes for like when you're out in the sun, the sun gives you information um, that you will now have. It can activate dormant DNA that has in your body that you're, um, that you need to activate in order to um, have more information or um, and to get in tune more with your soul essence so um so we're all like all these little not not little we're all these big suns everywhere spread out all over the earth and we're lighting up the earth and we're lighting up each other and it's amazing it's awesome i'm so excited and um i was just thinking a lot about that today so i put my yellow shirt on i'm shining and um i just wanted to like get on here and share that with you all and i know um sometimes we just need a reminder that we are a son and you know the bible says we're a son of god and um, we are, we're sons, <laughs> and, and um, we are holding the divine light in our bodies, and yeah, so it doesn't matter if you're a, you see yourself as a female or a male here on this earth, you are a son. So, um, you know, the world, well, okay, so in the world, there's also a lot of darkness, and we need the darkness in order to see the light, right? So, some people get on this, like, love and light is all there is, but if love and light was all there was, we wouldn't be able to see the light. If you think about a flashlight in a bright room, you can't see the flashlight. But if you're in a dark room and there's a flashlight, you can see the light. So, you know, we go through experiences um, and that are maybe seem dark. We have um, things in ourselves that uh, maybe just weren't the right expression of the true divinity in ourselves um 
that seemed a little dark, but when you can compare um, the dark to the light, you can tell what's light and what's dark. So darkness is important too. We need a balance. Thank you for being here. See you next time. Love you all. Bye.